Welcome back everybody to Duckman Cycles and VW Garage. I'm your host, the Duckman. <laughs> We're back today with my Volkswagen bus. And well, I rode in on a doodle bastard. The last couple days, every time that I got a chance, I've just been grinding off paint and drilling holes for plug welding. That's how I'm gonna be putting everything together on this. And I think that'll work out just fine. I don't see any reason why it won't. That's gonna go on the front of the bus. But before I can get to any of that, there's something I have to fix, and that's down below here in this headlight. The headlight bucket bottom is uh, toast. I had cut a rectangular portion out of it. Well, it's rounded, so you can't really cut a rectangular piece out of something rounded. <laughs> but you guys get the concept. But it was either buy a new bucket or come up with an idea to make it work. And I found something. This is uh, an old helium tank, which is empty. Yes, the valve is wide open for those of you that want to say, yeah, hey, you know, this thing's going to blow up. No, it's not. <laughs> but I'm going to cut a, a piece out of it because it turns out it's damn near exactly the same size. It might just be a hair smaller, but once I've got this thing cut, I can bend the metal open and expand it. But that's about the shape of what the back of the bucket looks like. I won't even be cutting into the dimples on here. I'll be just before that. So this should work out just fine. I might even use the top of it because the top of it has no dimples at all. I just, you know, grind this part right off. It's only spot welded and it looks like two spots. So this is really weak sheet metal on the top there. Not much to it. And before you guys comment about anything, this is not herpes. That's from a cup of tea that I drank over the weekend. And for some reason, the burn didn't show up at all, visibly, until I woke up this morning here on Wednesday morning. It uh, just crusted over. So I've been putting chapstick on it. Maybe that's why it hadn't, hadn't busted out. But it looks terrible. And no, it's not a disease. I wish I had a story to go with it if it was. All the neighbor's dogs are starting to bark, and my phone's already gone off for going to work. I don't know if you heard it, but it went off. So anyways, thanks for watching, you guys. Please licky, likey, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to plug that dingle belly down below. That way you get updates every time that I upload a new video. Thanks, you guys. Rolling that intro now. our piece of the tank which I was reading said it's made from 30% uh, recycled steel at this point my patch is actually made from 100% recycled steel <laughs> hey that's not too bad of a fit look at that still off a little bit but um, nothing that a, um, a hammer and a dolly couldn't knock out I think we're actually going to do it like we see here what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the bucket out more rather than cut the patch down because the bucket is kind of in some rough shape. I think I'd rather take some more of the original metal out and patch it up with uh, this instead. This is actually much heavier too. So for whatever it's worth, I'll end up with a tougher patch. But anyway, we'll cut that hole out. I'm going to cut it on the inside of the line so that way this piece should fit in there. And if it doesn't, I can tweak it. And I also have to cut along the inside of the lip here and make that fit just the same. But I don't know how far that's going to go in. So once we got that settled, then I'll figure out where we're going to cut the front. All right, let's get the tool out and start cutting.
Now let's see how this fits. I think we're pretty good. I think I'm gonna have to get some magnets for handles here. But otherwise, yeah, that's gonna work out splendidly. This is a really nice fitting part. Whoops. <laughs> well, I think what I'm gonna do, scratch off some of the paint on the inside of the uh, factory bucket up in here, and I'll start tacking this thing into place after I deburr it. I still have all these little ball catchers on here. Get all of those sanded off, get this thing tacked into place, and then wherever it lays here in the front, I'll then run the saw either right along this edge or through both pieces at the same time and tack it in as I go. But we have a bucket. Here it is. Ah. Oh no! <laughs> All right, well, there we go. I haven't brushed it out yet, but it's looking pretty good. Yes, my welds are getting better. I'm being a little more patient, working a little more slowly. But anyway, the bucket looks like it fits pretty good. I slipped in the panel up underneath it here to make sure that it still clears when it goes in. It has a, um, oh geez, maybe about a quarter of an inch of play between the um, frame and the headlight bucket on that side. And this side's pretty close to that. It's about an eighth of an inch or so, so it's a little bit less, but that's okay. I think the bottom of the bucket just went downwards a little bit because the shape isn't quite as contoured as the, the bucket would naturally be. But you know what? I don't care. That was free. I found that on the side of the road one day a couple years ago and brought it home. <laughs> I was hoping it was helium in it. I was going to make balloons. Anyway, it was empty. So it made a great bucket. I'm going to wire brush that sucker out and then we got to cut this seam out in here and uh, run through the bottom end here and get this welded in. Once that's set, we can call this headlight bucket finished. The only thing that we'd have to do after that is the little bit of the sheet metal that's around it has some holes here and there, but that's actually front skin stuff. So we will fix that next, but uh, yeah, bucket's coming along great. Okay, well we're gonna start wrapping this sucker up. Um, that rim on the bottom, I had to completely rebuild it because as I started to cut into it, it just started to crumble into a million pieces. So I ended up using some of the pieces that were there, cleaned them up, dressed them up, and put them back together and tried to build that contour back. It looks like it's gonna be okay. The other problem we had is that that piece that I made out of the tank, as I said, it was gonna be slightly too small and that's exactly what happened. So I had to put a couple of relief cuts into it this way just so I could bend the pieces down and then weld it all together. This looks like it's gonna turn out really, really nice. I threw some phosphoric acid, which is why it looks a little foamy on it. A little cat piss goes a long way to stop it from rusting because it's expected to rain tonight. So um, I figured that'll be good for it to uh, prevent it from rusting. Even though there's a cover on it, the water tends to sit in the inside of this. I've noticed there's a little puddle inside of these in the mornings after it rains. I don't know if the cover weeps or if it sweats or what the deal is, but something happens. So we got a little coating inside of there. But we're going to wrap it up for the day. And why? Because it's getting dark and I'm getting chewed up by mosquitoes and I'm sick and tired of this crap. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. By the time you're watching this, it's probably the day after Thanksgiving. So thanks, you guys, for staying tuned. Uh, as always, licky likey, comment, subscribe. Share this video with a friend. Check out duckshit.net for all my different social media links. And special thanks to CIP1 for all of the help on Gregory. Even though technically that part didn't come from them, but that one did. <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. See you next time.